It was pretty bad. All over the world tonight. All over the world tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Let me welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, uh, Khadija. You know, this is a very, very uh, unnerving, powerful story. We got over 800 people. My heart goes out and my prayer goes out to the people in Morocco. A powerful earthquake in Morocco has killed more than 800 people and injured, injured hundreds more, destroying buildings and sending residents into of major cities, rushing from their homes and the country's deadliest tremor in more than six decades. Okay, just last week, we had, what, Maui? Come on, y'all. Come on, are we... Okay, the magnitude 7.2 quake struck in Morocco's high Atlas Mountains late on Friday night. The Interior Ministry said 820 people had been killed and another 672 injured in the estimated um, updated uh, casualty toll. Wow. It's a mess over there. The local officials said that uh, most deaths were in the mountain areas that were hard to reach. In Marrakesh, the nearest big city to the epicenter, residents spent the night in the open, afraid to go home. Wow. Shout out to Suleiman. Um, I know a few people in Morocco. And I want um uh, hope I hope safe. Not around the Marrakesh area, but um uh what is that city? Um Nesto or something like that. Anyway, buildings suffered great damage and a mox marinade had fallen in Jamai Square, the heart of Marrakesh, old city. Rescue workers dug through the rubble. Everything is by God's will, but we sustain great harm, said Milao Scrub, a resident. Yeah, y'all sure did. That is horrible. The Interior Ministry, in its televised statement on the death toll, urged calm and said that the quake had hit provinces such as Al Hawuz, Kwazinate, Marrakesh, Al Zalal, and Chikokoa. Wow. Taradon and Taradon. Some 150 people, mostly relatives of injured, were waiting outside of a local hospital, and most had come from mountain areas outside the city as their local hospitals lack of capacity to treat the serious injuries. I still can't sleep in the house because of the shock and also because the old town is made up of old houses. Wow. That's what a, a Juhari Muhammad, a resident of Marrakesh, said. He was describing the desperate scenes as the people fled for safety. If no one fails, it will cause others to collapse. If one falls, it will cause the others to collapse, he said. And that's the, you know, need for desperate measures. 
an Australian tourist who gave her name as Tree, said the room started shaking. We just grabbed some clothes and our bags, and we just raced out, she said, clutching a pillow under her arm. People sleep on the streets where they can. The Interior Ministry urged calm. Yeah, I said that. Uh, Monastery Etri, a resident in the mountain village of Asni, near the Epper Center, said that the uh, most houses were damaged. Our neighbors are under the rubble, and people are working hard to rescue them using available means in the village. Again, my heart and prayer go out to the people in Morocco. Because, again, we are all connected, whether you want to believe it or not. The pain is connected, just like the grace and the goodness is connected. So, with that being said, I just want to send my condolences again. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. I have a friend... Jimmy, that lived in Istanbul, and I haven't heard from them in two lands since the last earthquake. And I haven't been able to reach them. So, you know, a lot of times that means that the people are no more. I don't want to think that that's the case, but a lot of, it's a lot of devastation. And my heart and prayers go out to the country. All right, with that being said, if y'all like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the video. Oh, wow. Just devastation. 